Hello, my name is Mihalis Mikhail, and I'm electrical engineer in the Department of Electrical and Mechanical Services at the Works and Procurement section. Uh, today we are going to talk about the lightning protection of roof installed PV systems. Uh, I have to say now that this was taken from a leaflet prepared by Professor Haralamos Haralamos of the University of Cyprus. So to give him some credit, and we did so the Artigal standards for uh, V lightning protection are the N62305 part 2 which is for risk assessment, the N62305 part 3 uh, physical time damage to structures, and two other standards that uh, are about search protective devices, which these are devices that when uh, we have an electric strike, they help to channel the strike to the ground. So, we have basically two types of lightning strikes. One is called direct lightning strike and has a 10, 350 microsecond curve, which is when we have a direct strike to a building by lightning. The second surge is caused from the secondary effects of the strike. The we have a strike near the building, let's say even one kilometer away, and we have conducted <coughs> searches, which is not direct search, but is conducted, and it has a different uh, curve, the 8 slash 20 microseconds curve. And also, we have searches caused by the network. If you have a short stage outage on the EAC network or, or a fault, you may have some uh, searches on your uh, installation. Uh, as we said before, the main protective devices against, against searches are called search protective devices. <coughs> we have type 1 search protective device, which is suitable for direct lightning strike. We have type 2 search protective devices, which are suitable for indirect uh, strike, which is mean by conducted lightning strike. And we have a combined type, type 1 and type 2 which combines the properties of the two self-protecting devices. Also, not mentioned here, we have also a type 3 self-protecting device, which is used for even smaller searches, which we are not going to discuss here now. So these are PV installation. The PV panels are installed on the side of the roof. We have an SPD on the DC side, we have the inverter. The SPV on the AC side. They also have an SPV for the network. VVS are the clearest distances between the lightning protection system, which is these spikes here, and the electric conductors here. We also have the earthing uh, uh, bars here and here. And we have also the power lines from the AC. So this is our main PV installation structure. We have to repeat something for those who came here right now. Okay. Okay. So we move, move along. So according to CLC TC 5539 part 12, we have, which is the standard for the search protecting device as we, as, we, as we said before, we have class A1, uh, we have three classes of uh, of uh, three classes of installations. For the first installation, the A1 class, we have an external light protection system installed. And our second is a sense, which means these distances here and here are above, are beyond of that uh, required by the standard. When we have a class A2 installation, we have also an external LPS installed, but our safety distances, the SSR, are less than those required by this ADI standard. Those distances are calculated according to some formulas found in the EN62305 standard, which is the uh, standard for uh, designing the LPS, and you can find it there. 
We also have the class B installation, what we call, don't have any LPS stock. So we are going to examine the protection according to those three classes. So when we have a class A1 uh, installation, we don't need any additional bolting between the PV panels and the lighting protection uh, system. Uh, the, of course, you all know that the lighting protection system has always been, been bonded with the main energy terminal of the building. It's a must. You, you cannot avoid that. Some earlier installations require that these uh, things were separate, but earlier standards state that you must bond them together. Uh, also, we have a class A1 uh, installation. We need to place type 2 SPDs both on the DC side and on the AC side of the installation. So we have to those two SPDs here, in the DC and the AC, all have to be type 2 to protect from indirect searches. And also we need one more SPD on the coming from the electrical, uh, electrical line, which must be type 1, because there is a danger of direct strike. If you have a class 2 install, A2 installation where the clearance, the yes, the clearance distance is not kept and we have smaller distances between the PV panels and the lighting protection system, then we need to bond the PV panel with the LPS. It's a must, it's, a, it's on the standard and we have to do it. And again we have to bond the LPS everything to the main terminal of the building. In this type of situation, uh, our SPDs, both on the DC and the AC side, must be of type 1 and type 2 because now we have an, an extra danger of direct light strike in our equipment. So in this case we have to have a combined SPDs, which is type 1 and type 2 together. And of course we also need to have an SPD on our uh, incoming from the EAC, which again is type 1. And for the class B installation, we only have to put type 2 SPDs, both on the DC and the AC side, and also again a type 1 SPD on the main DC drop panel. Now the installation of SPDs, we need to find, we need to have a minimum of 50 centimeters between the protective line and our, and our earthing bar, in order for the SPD to be effective. Also, if we have a, a line connecting two panels, then these panels need to be have a distance between them less than 10 meters in order to install just one SPD. In case we have two panels and we need to install an SPD, and these panels are, are uh, apart from each other above uh, 10 meters, then we need to install a second SPD, SPD on the second panel so that the installation is always protected. So this is a typical PV installation. You have your PV uh, panels on one side, you have your inverter on the other side. Between the panels and the inverter you have a distance bigger than 10 meters. So in this case you need to install two SPDs one on the PV panel side and one on the inverter side. Okay? okay. Now, on the, on the PV side, you need to put, this is before entering the inverter from the PV panels. You need to have one DC isolator, also you need to have fuses that uh, are specific for PVs. Not general, not general use fuses, but specific for PVC <coughs> fuses. Or you can have a DC breaker instead. And also you have a, an SPD protecting both the, uh, the two lines and also uh, the line against, uh, for searches between the lines and searches between the lines and the earth. 
So you have two SPDs for the two lines and one SPD on the middle for the sections between the lines and the earth. Now from the inverter to the network, you have also your AC isolator, some few fuses. Uh, in our cases, we don't use, use, use uh, fuses, you use an MCB except to break here. You don't have to use fuses. We have an RCB. This is a case where we have a TTC, TTFT system. You place an SPD between uh, the line and the neutral, which is there, and also uh, an SPD between the neutral and the earth again, because you have a TT system and the neutral and the earth are not connected together. So you may have some searches between the neutral and the SPD. And this is it. So if you have any questions you might want to ask? To, to ask? <laughs> no. Anyone have any questions? No. Uh, when do when do we decide uh, what system to use A one or B? It depends on your installation. If you have a PV and you put it on the roof of your house and you don't have any light protection, yes. then it's a class B. If you have, if you want to install an LPS, then you need to make sure that you are clear access the distances as we talked about before. Show you the and the, and the distances are uh, below the are above the limits set by the standard. So your designer needs to make sure that these distances are kept. If it is not possible, and then you have an A1 installation. If it is not possible to have these clear classes uh, because of the configuration of your uh, house, then you are a class A2. Anyone else? Okay, well, thank you all for being here. And we hope to see you at our next presentation. Gracias.